<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> <laughs> So in today's video, we're gonna be talking once more yet again about Modern Warfare 2's beta Well, no shit And personally what I think is an amazing thing that they have well, actually they have a lot of amazing things that are in it Um Number one before we get into like like the detailed description of what I like about it number one I haven't seen very many clips of like broken parts in the game I feel like I've seen I saw the one Noah J clip where there was a guy glitching the map Big gold dick dick where? Three where? big balls. Look like we playing You've tennis. You've got to be kidding dick. me. I think his name Dennis. I How big of a loser do you have to be just like to be glitching dude. in a beta dude. where you're capped at level 15? <laughs> Gay! Which, you know, that's, um, that's interesting. But other than that, I haven't seen anything else, like, genuinely negative and broken about the beta. What's going on with you? What are you talking about? Which is a really good thing, because if you remember the, uh, the Vanguard beta, there was quite a lot of, um interesting moments in that also it's the biggest piece of dog shit shout out to the team who made Modern Warfare 2 i think it's infinity word i'm pretty sure shout out to them for not giving us a dog new game mode that's like solely for the beta if you guys remember the call of duty vanguard was it was it alpha or beta i don't know which one it was but we had the champion hill thing and bro that fucking game mode i think you should jump i don't think i want to why don't you show a little follow through jump please i i just want to get I'm not down suggesting anymore Jump. Oh my God. Literally died faster than the queen. That thing was played in the alpha or beta for like two days or whatever. And I don't think I saw a single thing about it for the whole entire life cycle of the game. So yeah, um, we better be better. Everyone better be thankful that we get like team deathmatch, domination, hardpoint, search for this beta instead of some random ass fucking game mode. Um, so yeah. I think that's a really good thing. Also, my major takeaway from this beta, I actually haven't played it at all, but I have a friend who has PS5 and he's been sending oh clips and stuff about the game. My favorite thing so far is the map design and gun quality. The map design is fucking amazing. This is all on PS5. I think I'm really dying. And bro, it looks so good. It's unreal. I actually heard that um at the Call of Duty Next event, I think it was Modern Warzone or somebody who tweeted it out. Somebody said that the PS5s were playing the game better than the PCs were. They had like less screen tearing, less some um, fps drop and all that what the and dude i honestly believe it bro my friend or yeah i heard that no i'm really dying long, i'm just my, it's me my my, uh, my god uh, um so my friend who keeps on giving me gameplay for the main channel and second channel his name is mr longview check him out in the link in the description shout out to the homie he's a goat um and he played on ps5 i'm pretty sure that's what he's playing on i think it's ps5 actually no it's, it's a ps5 and dude it looks it looks as good as my pcs will probably look which is insane and yeah like the map design um aside from just it looking amazing and playing good a lot of people are saying that it feels just better than the past few call of duties like the way it's structured there's like you know more sites that people can go on and there's lots of places where you can like flank and all that goodness people ask how i'm doing very suicidal and i gotta say i'm not really up to date with like the technical terms for what maps like the good map design looks like but these maps just look cool they look cool it looks like they play good lots of areas to do stuff in um so yeah and it's so colorful dude it's so colorful compared to like vanguard bro even cold war dude cold war had like you know the whole it was like kind of animated a little bit so it was a little odd to like differentiate colors from that game because it was like cartoony but real at the same time it was weird yeah it's really good to see that a modern warfare game has a ton of colors like just in some of these rooms alone there's probably like 10 different colors on the walls the floor everything which is really nice um the only thing i think that they need to sort of figure out with modern warfare 2's beta and just the game in general obviously we're not talking about warzone 2 dmz any of that we're talking about solely the multiplayer experience i think they really need to change the um the menus <laughs> no 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 <laughs> I've heard a lot of things about how the menus are like super confusing, which I can believe just watching my friends, just watching Longview's gameplay. It looks like I, I have no idea what I'm looking at. It looks like it's not even like a menu for the game. It just looks like a loading screen. It's really odd. So I'm not sure why they chose to do it that way. They could have just literally made it like Mono for 2019. But you know, you do you, bro. You do you. Um. So yeah, you know, the map design is crazy good. The graphics look amazing. The colors are it's just amazing. It's so vibrant. And yeah. <laughs> Um, are you a fucking retard? I'm trying to think what else. Oh, yeah, the, the gun sounds, dude. The gun sounds are so good. They're a little bit loud. It's not really a bad thing that they're loud. It is kind of um annoying because your ears just get exploded. 
but um yeah they sound good at least so i feel like when i play this game later this week on pc i'm gonna have to just crank down my headphones a little bit or else i might end up getting tetanitis and die <laughs> I was gonna post a different video today, um, more like Modern Warfare 2019 stuff, but I just like, I don't feel like making a video about Modern Warfare 2019 anymore. Like the fact that we have Modern Warfare 2 at least somewhat here in Prevent, it just gives me like zero motivation to make a video about Modern Warfare 2019. It's it's sad because like I could just do it, but I just have no energy or drive to gen just sit here and make a Modern Warfare 2019 video. And I hate clickbaiting people. I hate doing it. I do it all the time because like I have to. I literally can't make videos on, any, on anything right now. Um, yeah, that's just what I get for not buying a PlayStation 5 like six months ago when I probably should have. So yeah, Modern Warfare 2 coming out in like a whole nother week still. Psych! It's it's bad. I mean like <laughs> it's on Thursday, dude, I think. Oh, that's one more thing. The flashing, bro. I heard the flashing and stunning in Modern Warfare 2 is awful. Bro, why is this guy so fucking caked up? Oh my god. Hold up. I gotta save that. I'm sorry. I'm looking at like my fucking, um, my, I don't know. I can just put this. I'm looking at my, my video from my main channel that I'm working on right now. This is just where I'm just seeing all the clips for the gameplay and stuff. This dude is so caked up. Bro, he's popping out. Ronald Reagan, go off, queen. Jeez. <laughs> So, so, so yeah, we're talking about the stuns and flashing. The stunning and flashing is fucking horrible. I haven't seen many clips of it, but um, on Twitter, there's lots of grown men complaining about how it's too bright in their old eyes. I think it's funny because like we ask for realism and then when they give us realism, we complain. But then again, that is what happens with video games. You ask for something, usually you get it, but you realize that it's not actually what you wanted or needed. So yeah. <laughs> Two more days and then PS5 players can fuck off. I'm so happy about that. I hate PlayStation owners. If you own a PlayStation, I wish I was you, but I also hate you because I can't play this. I can't play this game, which makes me very depressed inside, and I, I might cry. Oh yeah, I also did change up the setup a little bit in the background. Those lights are so fucking broken, dude. Like half of them don't. The, the stickiness on them isn't even functional. So those are being held by duct tape right now on the back of them. One of these days, it's just gonna fall off. They're all just gonna start falling off, and I'm gonna be like, oh fuck me, goddamn it. I also have this thing. This thing. This poster was like right in front of me so you couldn't see it um but i figured i should probably put it behind me because well it's they're not doing much good sitting on the wall right in front of my face um yeah <laughs> so yeah i mean i don't really know what else to talk about i mean i just kind of want to talk about the map design for modern warfare 2 because it's amazing it looks really good um i don't know what else to post i honestly might not post another video until the modern warfare 2 beta comes out so like later on this week i just don't really see a point in posting something that doesn't really contribute to society <laughs> so um yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all. Hopefully when Mono for 2 comes out. Goodbye.